We know that an asteroid really did hit the Earth 66 million years ago. This is not just a hypothesis or just a theory. We do know that there was an asteroid. And the reason is because of some incredible geological detective work done by mostly one man. One of my heroes, a guy named Walter Alvarez, a geologist from California, who when he was a young scientist, he spent a lot of time in Italy. And this was in the 1970s. This is when the new theory of plate tectonics was revolutionizing geology, leading to a greater understanding of how our Earth has changed over time. And Walter was particularly interested in how the modern Mediterranean evolved, how that geography came to be, how the mountains in the area were built, how different plates of Earth's crust rearranged and slammed into each other to form the Mediterranean Sea. So he spent a lot of time in the Apennine Mountains of Italy, studying the motion of the continental plates. That's why he was there. Walter was not a paleontologist. He didn't really have any interest in dinosaurs. But when he was in Italy studying these rocks, which were Cretaceous in age, he noticed something very unusual. And that is that at a, in a place called Gubbio, an old medieval town where there's a deep gorge, he was studying the limestone rocks and he saw that there were rocks of the Cretaceous period. And then those rocks of the Cretaceous period gave way to the next interval of geological time, which is called the Paleogene period. So there were Cretaceous rocks on the bottom, Paleogene rocks above. And right in the middle of these two rocks was a very thin layer of clay, just about a centimeter thick. Now, what was also interesting was that the fossils in these rocks were very different on either side of that clay layer. In the Cretaceous rocks, there was a thriving ecosystem of ocean life, especially of the microscopic fossils. There were lots of different species of these little plankton animals that formed the base of the food chain. There were big ones and small ones, and ones with very complex shells and spiral shells, and others with simple shells. And then you come up to that clay layer. The Cretaceous period ends. Then you're in the Paleogene, the next interval of time, and there are still little fossil plankton there but they're all pretty much the same. They're all small, they're all pretty drab. There's not very complex shell shapes. They're all pretty much the same species. What he saw in these rocks was an extinction event, a mass extinction where a lot of species died out at once. And it wasn't just an extinction in the ocean. Other scientists and other places in the world determined that at that exact same time at the end of the Cretaceous period is when the dinosaurs disappeared.